not the girls that we want. separation anxiety okay you're gonna have to get out you cannot ride in here with me not in this one come on ride her out babe i can't the foot feet won't let us do this Sky looks close though too. Jason. What is smoke girl doing over there? <laughs> oh, she's gonna take it away. Oh, yeah, I know she was riding. Oh. Yeah. So Apple had her baby. Yep. Or been pulled out. We're gonna go see if Apple will let us close. Probably not. We, you go lay down. Woose. You getting close? Maybe. So if, uh, if uh, you guys remember Apple from a couple years ago, had a nice bull calf this morning.
small barn. Um, it's been kind of a long process because we are doing it ourselves um, with the help of like Jason's cousins and his dad and just different moving parts. But in a little bit of a brief tour, standing in the tack room, feed room, um, across the way is going to be the office. that's kind of been put on hold for a while. Hey, what do you think? Boo! Ryder! <laughs> Are you gonna have to have a doggy bed over here? Maybe? So since I uh, drove the skid back from the hay barn to the cattle barn, I gotta go walk and get the pickup. It sure feels good to be outside. I've missed, missed my walks. It's starting to kind of green up even. so pretty today. Look at those girls all out there. I am definitely ready for warm weather and summertime hay season and just green grass. We do rotational graze so each of these paddocks are kind of anywhere from five to eight acres but for our size of herd we put in these timeless posts so it acts as an insulator so you don't have to worry about it uh, shorten out it's really nice um, the bottom strand is the only thing hot top wire is not it's what works for us obviously not all these ladies were hot wire broke. It took a little bit of time and you're not going to keep calves in. But the nice thing about calves is they're not going to go too far when they're on mom. So yeah, the little babies get out, but the bigger they get, they start respecting that hot wire line. So we're not trying to keep wean calves in here, obviously. Just babies and mamas. It's just, just a good day. A real good day. Everybody's a little shook up with Ryder being out here, but 
it's good to see mamas that care about their babies. That is for sure. That mom right there, wherever my finger is, that mom right there is the one that we had the other day. You guys kind of seen her hanging out. None of them. <laughs> the girls that we want. Hey ladies, hey. <laughs> they really like their treats, okay? Come on, Sweet Pay. Where'd she go? Our bull needs some practice before he uh, goes over to Clark to get jumped. So we can retract semen. AI. So that's our whole goal right here. Okay, so what do you want me to do here? Open girls, they were not bred when we preg checked, I think October. But we kept them around, gave them another chance, and now they have served their purpose. All right, that gate's open. Cash boy, load it up. Uh, no videoing to be had. But we, but we did it without any gates. You act like you're a wounded soul. He's the toddler, and of course we still have the Red Bulls. <sighs> we checked a lot off our list today. WW gates. Bulls, two cows. <sighs> now Jason's got to get out of here without being stuck. So now we're just kind of making a makeshift little area for the bull and those two cows. Um, I'm just gonna bring some gates around here in this little pen area. And then we've got a feed trough to put silage in. Ain't that right, boo? We've done a lot today, haven't we? Oh, my legs are hurting.
such a good mama. Is there any love action happening? He's sniffing. Couldn't be. Gosh, I hope so. So yes, these ladies will be out of our, uh, they'll be ahead of the game, but we need some practice out of him because he's never done it before. Trying to use uh, sensitive language for... <laughs> Why he's come to practice.